This video explains the installation of a Fritz Jurgens floor plate on two floor types. In this case, the gap is 7 mm. Use the gap calculator via the link to calculate yours. We can use a tape on the floor to draw the floor plate placement on. We draw a line here. This is the middle of the floor plate. Then, we calculate the next line's position by adding the gap to your pivot point. Extend the lines to make them visible when placing the stencil. We can use a tape on the drill at 11 mm. As the stencil is 3 mm, we know exactly when we've drilled 8 mm deep. Now, drill the holes for your floor plate with the right size and type drill. 7.5 mm diameter for wood and 8 mm for the tiles. You can use the crossline laser to determine the placement of the ceiling plate. Now, add glue to the holes you've drilled. Don't overflow the holes. Then, add some glue to the bottom of your floor plate. We can use a rubber hammer to put the floor plate in place. It might be useful to use a small block so the floor plate pins go straight down into the holes. And that's it.